Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Abbott and welcome to Sur La Table. Today I'm showing how to make a blueberry sauce. Really versatile, great over cheesecakes, you could serve it over ice cream. Also, if you don't have blueberries, you can substitute any fresh berry or frozen for this recipe. For this recipe, you need fresh blueberries, sugar, cornstarch, lemon, and salt. Okay, to get started, this comes together very easily. I'm going to add my cornstarch into my sugar and whisk it. This is going to help prevent the lumps. The cornstarch is there to help thicken the sauce, but also has a tendency to get very lumpy if just added directly to liquid. So give it a little whisk, and then everything can go into a large skillet or saucepan. I'm using a large stainless steel skillet today. So the blueberries go in, the cornstarch and sugar, a pinch of salt. Again, to add balance, every time we use sugar, it's nice to have a little bit of salt so it's not so teeth achingly sweet. So the last thing I need to do is to zest and juice a lemon. I have one lemon here and my microplane grater. I'm going to use the grater to take off the outside bright yellow peel of the lemon because that's where all this great lemon flavor is. So run it over. This is what you're looking for. You go from the bright yellow until you see this lighter yellow. Stop there. This is bitter. We don't want that. I really want the outside bright yellow peel. Happy with that. Tap off to get all of that zest that was stuck underneath. I'm going to cut this in half. And because I don't want the seeds of the lemon in my sauce, I have a nice small fine mesh strainer. Squeeze through and this is going to catch those seeds. Juice your lemon. There you go. You could also use a citrus press or a reamer if you like. There we go. Give that some taps to get all that liquid through. Set it aside. Now I'm just going to turn the heat on. Medium, medium high heat. Depending on how strong your stove is. And this is going to cook Stir it occasionally until the blueberries burst and release their juices and it cooks down into a really nice kind of thick sauce. Okay, my sauce has been simmering away. My blueberries are mostly all burst. At this point, you could cool it down and serve it like this if you like some texture. I want to strain mine. so. Pour into a fine mesh strainer, set over a heat safe bowl. This is still hot. You could cool it down first, but it's going to be easier to strain if it's warm. And then to strain, you just kind of press with a silicone spatula, stir and press those berries against the mesh. Okay. I've got most of the liquid, as much as I think I'm going to get, pressed out. I've got this paste here. Leave that there, you can discard it. I'm gonna scrape off the side of my spatula into the scraper, because then I'm going to run it along the bottom to get any of that puree, that strained sauce, off the bottom of the mesh. And now, you could serve it like this. It's nice and smooth, really elegant looking. If you wanted to add some texture, I would suggest adding and folding through some fresh berries. This way, you get a nice contrast of texture between the smooth sauce and the fresh berries that if you bite into when they're going to burst in your mouth. So I'm going to fold through some fresh blueberries. This is optional, totally up to you. I like the contrast in texture, so there we go. And for serving, you could serve this warm or chilled. And there you have it, homemade fresh blueberry sauce. Enjoy.
For recipe videos, cooking classes, and more, visit surlatob.com.